When the harmonic tremors started in the Schwarzenegger uh, volcanic system, and we showed that on the diagram, you can see the rise, shaking of the ground, liquefying and easing the movement of the magma, and then uh, drop down due to the uh, eruption. What we saw in the GPS data was interesting. We saw in the area of the Skipatsky Heron to the west, a drop down. Magma dropped and left that area. We saw a coming down deflation. In the source thing, we saw inflation. The magma which left the Skipatsky Heron moved, was squeezed toward the Swartzengi, and the land of the Swartzengi rose toward the sky, practically. That's interesting. We see it. I show it like that. It's like squeezing the Swartzengi volcanic system's reservoir. So the magma moves toward the Grindavik Rift Valley for eruption. An eruption which was bigger than anything else we have seen in this volcanic system in recent months. And the crater which was left there from the previous eruption, K1, was a slice through. But gradually over the course of the day, this was reduced. It was starting, this eruption started 1246. And as the day went on, we could see that it's receding from the K1 toward the north. At least in the northern part, this is what we are seeing. The K1 shows what that the fissure is closing. The earth is closing back like a zipper closing back. I show that again on this. And when I put the same frame from through the day, you can clearly see from number one to number four, the zipper is closing down. If I show it on the MBL map, this is a lovely map. I love it. And uh, I can actually show I'm rubbing off the fissure, the fissure is getting closed, the ground, the earth is closing down, at least theoretically in part of it, not all of it. This is what we are seeing. The eruption is less vigorous. The height of it was 200 meters, is not anymore like that. It's probably 30 to 40, maximum 50 meters. Reduction in the vigor of the eruption within a few hours.